my channel today I have for you what's in my birth center bag and I'm also giving you a couple bonus because for the birth center I don't really need to bring that much stuff for the baby so I'm gonna go ahead and share what's in her bag that I'm bringing for her because it's only a few things and um, as all of you know my girls my three girls are coming with us and so we packed a bag for them and I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you because it just has a few different things in there for them to do so um yeah let's just get to it because I don't want this to be too long <laughs> but um we'll start with the girls we are bringing this bag this is just kind of in case they get bored or they don't want to be in the room when I'm having the baby they decide yeah not gonna happen <laughs> this just has like some activities for them to do because um at the birth center there's the birth suite and then off of the birth suite there's like a living room area and they have a TV with Netflix and stuff and so the kids can watch TV and watch movies but I packed them some snacks and some little game things so I have a bag of Halloween candy and granola bars um they have a bag of animal crackers box pop tarts not real pop tarts, pretend pop tarts, and a box of whales for their snack. And they'll all bring um, their water bottle with them when we go. Uh, let's see, they have some different puzzles to do. They all brought a pencil and a box of crayons and a pencil sharpener. Um, they brought a memory game. They brought these little like shoelace things and some are shapes and different animals but just like these lace game things. Ezra brought one workbook, Kels brought two, and Noah brought two. So they have a little workbook if they want to do something. Because my kids really like to do extra work for some reason besides Ezra. I don't, I think she just wanted to bring a workbook because they were bringing one. I don't know. Um, and they each brought a coloring book. Someone made these for me, so I'm not sure what they're called, but they have like all these little objects in here and there's a card and you pick what you want to find and you look through the beads and you find what's on the picture. And there's two of those. So they brought those. So that's the girls' bag. Um, I'll get our snack bag because it doesn't really have that much in it. We are supposed to pack snacks, but, um, I'm not like an eater, like, like if I'm at home in labor, I'll probably eat and snack here, but like, once I'm in active labor, I don't want to snack, it's just, I will get sick. So I packed Rob these, and I packed him two of these, and then the rest is for me, and it's just Gatorade. I have two of these, and these. And I'll probably bring water too because I am a very thirsty person um, just on a daily basis. And then once I'm in labor, I get really thirsty too. So I'll have that Gatorade and then I'll have water. Our bag. For me, I have a pair of just slip-on sandals with some socks because my feet get really cold and weird like that. I have headbands, they're just like these ones, and then I have another skinny one, but those pop off my head a lot, so I grabbed three headbands, some bobby pins, and extra hair ties. In case I want to take a shower there, I don't have to, we're not going to be there that long, I can come home and take a shower, but in case I want to, or in case of a transfer to like the hospital, I have shampoo, conditioner, a body wash, toothbrush, toothpaste. I put a rag in here and I need a deodorant to throw in there but I didn't have an extra one so we'll get that and Rob says he doesn't need extra clothes because we're only 10 minutes from there and I'll come home and get clothes if I need it so he's gonna wear whatever he wears and then he has some swim trunks a shirt an extra pair of underwear sorry about that my camera died but yeah Rob has some clothes just in case he gets in the water and gets wet he can put those on and then change back into whatever um 
I don't plan on having the baby in the water, but I do plan on laboring in the water, so just in case. If she comes in the water, she comes in the water, but I'm not like dead set on I need her to be born in the water. Um, so what I plan on laboring in, let me get it, is this blue, like, I don't know, it's just a dress. It's just like a dress and um, it's just really stretchy and comfy so that's what I plan on laboring in and I did pack a long sleeve little sweater to go over it because it's getting chilly especially at night and in the morning and then in case my legs were chilly I just threw in a pair of pants. On their list it was like bring two sports bras or bring a um, bathing suit top and a sports bra or something just one for like laboring and and then if you get in the tub and you get it wet so you can change and I just can't decide which ones I want to bring so I put these two in there <laughs> but then I put these two in there because they clip in the front and I figure I can just unclip it real fast after she's born and like she can just be on me so probably gonna go with these two I also have a pair of these little slippers with grippies on the bottom and my push my pushing socks <laughs> I ordered these from something I don't know I seen them on Facebook and they say ready set push <laughs> with little grippies so I don't know if I'll put them on but like I always like having socks on because my feet are always cold so I'll probably have them on maybe we'll see they're in there um for right after I have her, I bought this nightgown and robe set. It's um, just gray, with like white nightgown tank top thing. And then the robe is this pink, pretty color with floral stuff on it. So that's like for right after I have her. For going home. I just have a pair of black leggings, um, this maternity shirt that I have, a nursing bra, uh, two tank tops to go under that shirt, but it was just, I don't know why I packed two, but I packed two, and then a sweater. So. That's for going home in, I think I might bring a towel just in case, an extra towel in case I want to take a shower because I, whoop, <laughs> I feel like I will be that person that wants to take a shower because I usually am at the hospital, so. Anyways, baby's bag. This is our baby's bag. First off, we are bringing this blanket for her, like, in her car seat. It's super soft and fuzzy in her car seat sitting right there so we're bringing that blanket um there's a couple things I have in here that we didn't really need to bring but I have wipes I have a nursing cover which I probably will not use there but I just put it in her bag because that's where it's gonna be Four diapers, this hat, I think it goes this way, for after she comes out, and I brought an extra little hat, just in case. Um, for me, I don't plan on, like, her being in clothes, really, so not until we, like, bring her home. So I brought two of these little t-shirts, and I brought this swaddle blanket with these gold hearts on it. I have a flannel blanket. This was actually Jasper's, and I just really love it, so I kept it for her. Um, it's just teal and gray, but I brought that in case we need the extra blankie. A spit rag, burp rag. I brought one pacifier. None of our kids have ever liked pacifiers. I saved this from when um, I was just going through a lot of Jasper's baby stuff, and I threw all of them away because most of them were kind of like, ruined anyways and I saved this one for her so if she likes them we will buy some but 
we've never had a baby that liked pacifiers. So I have one pair of mittens, one pair of socks, two bows because I don't know which one I'm going to have her wear, but I will have her wear one because I am a bow mama. And then her going home outfit is just this little onesie and to go under this little outfit. And that is all she will need. Because we're not going to be there very long. So there's not really any point in bringing a whole bunch of stuff when we're not going to be there very long. Um, if for any reason we were to go to like the hospital or have a transfer, um, we do live like only like 12 minutes from the birth center and then the hospital is not even that far from them. So it wouldn't be a big deal. I can send Rob home to get something if I need him to. That is what we are bringing to the birth center and we are getting very excited and we will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.